Okay, how do you properly light a Bunsen burner? And so let me teach you how to do that. We've got a couple of Bunsen burners in front of us here. They're both very similar, a little bit different. The main difference being in the openings at the Bunsen burners. Uh, this particular Bunsen burner uh, has an opening at the bottom that can be closed simply by rotating this little sleeve around the Bunsen burner. Now this opening is very, very important in your use of your Bunsen burner. So that's why I'm pointing this out. The other Bunsen burner, the opening, is closed uh, simply by screwing it down or is opened by screwing the tube up. Okay. Now, how do you properly light a Bunsen burner? Um, you can light a Bunsen burner with, if you have some skill with these tubes opened, but the easiest way to light a Bunsen burner is to close these holes. Um, when you close the holes, it makes it much, much easier to light a Bunsen burner. And so let me illustrate with this particular burner. I'll add a, I'll add a tube, gas tube to it. Let me readjust the camera. There we go. And so I've got the, the uh, tubes closed. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, use whatever I'm going to do to light the Bunsen burner. And I'm going to have that ready. And this time I'm going to use a lighter. Uh, lighters or matches or strikers. I, I think strikers, being able to use a striker is a real good skill, although st my students tend to struggle with them and fill the room with gas before they light the Bunsen burner. So I like to make lighters handy and matches handy for those who struggle with that. And so proper way to light a Bunsen burner is to have your ignition source ready to go next to the Bunsen burner. Uh, if you're using a uh, lighter, I go ahead and light it, okay, and then just go and very quickly turn the gas on. And you can see, you might be able to see that flame, it's kind of hard to see, but it is lit. Um, and having these, the holes at the bottom closed, it makes it easier to light. If you begin to open up those holes, you can see that the flame becomes uh, a sharper flame. We get that nice blue cone in there. If you continue to open the holes too much, uh, and this one won't do it at the moment, but sometimes it'll even blow the flame out. I'm going to close the holes, we'll get a nice softer flame. So this is what I'd call a low heat flame, although it's very hot. And this would be what I would call a high heat flame, uh, much hotter. And the tip of that little blue cone is the hottest part of that flame. And so that's one example there. Turn it off at the gas source. Uh, let's demonstrate the other burner, just so you see both of them in action, both of them in use. And so, here we go on this one. Again, easiest to light if you close that tube up. Get my ignition source ready, turn the gas on, and there we go. Now in this particular one, we'll see we see a different kind of flame. The reason why this flame is yellow is because uh, the screw down tube restricts any and all oxygen or air entering down here in the tube. Um, and so we get a yellow flame. That's an incomplete combustion. You do not ever want to use a flame like this in a laboratory. If you put something over the top of it uh, to heat, what's going to happen, the bottom of that beaker or um, evaporating dish is going to get covered with soot, and, which is unburnt carbon effectively and that unburnt carbon soot is going to add mass to your beaker. And if you're doing a, a quantitative measurement where mass is important, you've just thrown everything off because you've added unwanted mass to your beaker with the soot that's going to be on the bottom of that uh, beaker. So what you want to do, once you have it lit, then you can unscrew. This, does, this should not get hot. This tube should not get hot. It may get a little bit warm, but if this thing is burning correctly, this tube should not get very hot at all. So you can just take it. And un unscrew it, you know, test it first, just in case it's not quite burning correctly. And then you can begin to open up this vent. You can see that the gas or the flame turns from yellow uh, to blue. And I'm going to turn the gas down just a little bit at the source. And we get a nice blue flame. That's a good blue flame. Again, I'd call this a low heat flame. It's not all that hot. If I want to continue to open up the uh, valve by rotating the tube, I'll turn this into a hotter flame where we get a nice blue cone into the middle of it. And you can continue to turn it quite a bit to open that flame up. So high heat flame 
we want to go back to a low heat flame. We don't always want a high heat flame in chemistry. We sometimes want low heat flames. We can close that down and let less air in there and we'll get a softer flame. Um, so then you want to turn it off. Don't blow them out. Go to the source, turn that gas off, and we're good. One thing about the source, uh, I see this happen a lot in class where kids over there with the lighter at the Benjamin are waiting for it to, to light and someone else is over here slowly, slowly opening up this valve and the lighter can actually get pretty hot when someone's holding it and, and they burn themselves. No gas comes out of this vent at all until we're about right there. No gas is coming out here. And so if someone's over here just slowly, slowly turning this vent, nothing's happening. There's nothing going on until that thing gets all the way to about right here, gas begins to escape through the valve. So when you're ready to light that flame, open it up three quarter, no, two thirds of the way roughly, and then slowly open it up until you get some gas coming out of there. If you have a hard time lighting the flame and it just keeps blowing your match out or blowing your candle out, then you've got too much gas. If you open it up all the way up there, you're gonna blow your match out usually. So don't open it up all the way, a little lower pressure on the gas to get it initially lit. And then you can open it up a little bit more if you want a higher flame. There you go, guys. That's how you light a Bunsen burner.